you know, I get it now. I know why people love this game. What's up, Lore Masters? Today we'll be taking a look at another ship in Star Trek Online. Click in the link in the description to see the entire playlist of everything I've done so far. With that out of the way, let's just get into it. The Nova-class vessel is one of the few designs constructed during the Dominion Cold War that had the original intention of being a purely scientific ship. Though, interestingly, there are many rumors that the chassis of this vessel was considered when the original Defiant class was being debated. But that would not come to be as the ship would primarily be utilized for planetary research. However, in the 25th century, the modern computer systems as well as the defensive systems would be modified to make the ship more combat efficient. The bridge has four specialty consoles, including one tactical, one engineering, and two scientific. It comes with the standard Federation equipment, including the Shield Array Mark II, Deflector Array Mark II, Impulse Engines Mark II, Matter Antimatter Warp Core Mark II, and a Deteriorating Secondary Deflector Mark II. It also has three slots available for engineering and science officers to install experimental equipment to assist in the field. The ship would have two weapons four and two aft, including two phaser beam arrays Mark II and two photon torpedo launchers Mark II. Additionally, adding to the ship's original purpose, its sensor suites allow it to specially lock onto enemy vessels and even target the subsystems of those vessels with precision point accuracy not seen in other ships. Thanks to miniaturization and the glut of society, the vessel could be modified into several different variants. This includes the original Nova class that, as stated, was designed for short-term planetary research missions. This vessel also has the Wave Rider shuttle, which is attached to the primary hull versus being in a shuttle bay. It also has a sister design known as the Aurora class. This design was specifically created for scouting missions and military encounters. Next would come the Quasar variant, named for black holes. The ship is claimed to be a more powerful variant of all the designs available, but does not appear to have any specific advancement or advantage that can be identified. There would also be the Rhode Island. This variant would be known for the first ship being under the command of Still Ensign Harry Kim, though they would call him Captain because he is the CO. The ship is claimed to be able to handle combat with heavy Klingon warships, but I would remind the devs, just because we see it shoot at a Negvar doesn't mean it could actually take on a Negvar. Believe it or not, overall, I do like the Nova class. It shows what a science ship would look like and would have been if not for the Dominion and the Borg. Its upgrades also show us how Starfleet can take a ship that was designed for peace and still make it a capable threat. But all of these are my opinions. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below.